relates to SHTF um, leaving the borders wide open. You know, why did they do this? Why, why do our so-called leaders, Myarchus and all these other turds, allow and, and Biden, let's flood the border. You know, let's let them all in. It's racist if you don't let them in. Uh, complete asinine logic. Uh, you know, we're the bottom line is we're letting cartel members across the border. A lot of the border states, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, etc., parts of California, the southern parts are experiencing a massive wave of crime. You know, you've got sex trafficking of young children, women getting assaulted left and right, uh, people of our country. You know, U.S. citizens getting assaulted, getting, you know, <clears throat> their heads cut off. Uh, some random uh, Uber Eats driver, you know, got his head cut off by some cartel guy that, you know, he was an illegal. He got across the border, you know. Uh, why do our politicians, so-called politicians leaders, allow this to happen? Why did Biden allow this to happen or want this to happen actively allowing people to come across I think it's part of the uh, the plan Clower and Piven and the Caligri plan or whatever you call it whatever the hell it's called not only to displace uh, patriotic Americans with people that may not be patriotic but also to uh, you know They might just use these uh, legals that are coming across also in the military to recruit them. But I think the biggest reason is to uh, create a reason. Uh, a, it's a ruse to, oh, yeah, we're being so nice and humanitarian and blah, blah, blah. We're so, you know, woke. We'll let anybody across and not even check them. They're felons, you know anything with their background it's to allow um our country to be destroyed from within and to create the precedence th for the global id you know this katie uh uh what katie haley politician yeah the so-called running mate for uh trump um she's c totally on board with uh a digital ID global digital ID so that's that's I think one of the biggest reasons they want the border flooded and wide open and then they're like oh why is there such a border problem I wonder why well you know the democratic policies have been let them all in you know it's by design let the terrorists in let the sleeper cell Chinese agents in let the let the Russians come across you know, let them all come in. So, you know, at the opportune period of time, whatever that may be, maybe the next election, uh, they can activate, you know, Chinese sleeper cells, Russian sleeper cells, uh, maybe the cartel that they're working with, that the feds are working with. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're colluding with the cartels, all these different Sinaloa cartel, you name it. Uh, <laughs> most people are complete animals uh, complete you know killing machines with no remorse no empathy it's all been beaten out of them brutalized uh, you know they grow up you know killing you know beheading animals same same kind of treatment that the SS was subjected to you know murdering the you know, German shepherds and you know it's all about uh, dehumanizing, creating a just a, a killing machine type soldier, you know. Well, these people are just like that, you know, even worse, I'd say, than the SS because they're trained to, you know, murder kids, rape, rape kids, uh, sell them to sex trafficking, no morals, you know. These kind of animals are allowed to come across the border. Nobody seems to want to talk about that. All these damn politicians, these, you know, 
they got paper buttholes and, you know, they just flap their lips, you know, try to get their votes and that's it. I think people are starting to see through this, um, see the real agenda at play, which is to destroy America, bring in the CBDC with the global ID because, wow, the crisis that they created with, you know, the border, they got to do something about it. Well, and that might lay in the feet of Trump, you know, and if he has Katie Hobbs or, you know, Katie, uh, whatever the, f the hell her last name is, I forgot. Um, as a running mate, well, she works for NATO. She's all in with the, the elite class, you know, and she, I'm sure she's part of the, um, the NGO, the World Economic Forum. I'm sure she's part of the penetrator of our cabinet, um, neocon, you know, con job, neocon. Um, I don't think, I think Trump is going to be swindled again, even if they get in, they're going to force his hand to uh, uh, the digital ID issue. Because um, they're going to make it so despotic. So many millions of people have gotten across the border uh, they're going to collapse the healthcare system, wealth, uh, welfare system, you name it. Just collapsing the welfare system, you know, uh, homeless people and people that are on disability, all those people are going to riot and create a complete, you know, crap storm because, you know, as our system starts to buckle from within um, and people don't have, you know, the insurance and the healthcare system and you name it. All these things start to collapse because all the people that are now taking all, you know, illegally taking our, um, you know, social health care system, you know, down to its knees by design, we're going to have to take the brunt of that. And I think a lot of people are going to riot. Just see what happened in Katrina and see what happened um, with George Floyd. Just one person, you know, being murdered. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that guy was a piece of garbage, uh, you know, home, uh, burglarized, I don't know how many homes, and but yeah, that's off topic. Uh, we're going to see massive chaos, and I think that's going to be, so not only are they going to bring in the UBI with the border being surged with all these who knows what, you know, enemies of the state, terrorists, Cartel members, uh, you know, people with multiple felonies, um, all sorts of pieces of garbage. And, you know, good, innocent, hardworking people that just want to make a you know, better life of themselves, which, you know, those people should come across the board. We should filter those people out so they can come across people that are of value and are quality, decent human beings with, you know, some sense of morality <laughs> not, you know, cartel members that are complete opposite, you know, that if you're average, you know, good, hardworking, you know, Latin American person. So, yeah, and then it, it's just, I don't know. I think we're going to see, you know, this coming year, eventually it's going to, everything's going to buckle. The economy and then you add, you know, the welfare, the the other systems that are going to be completely strained and broken by having all these illegals come across. Um, our current capacity, you know, to be able to fund all those things is going to make the taxes go up. It's going to make, you know, everybody else that's already a, a citizen have to pay more. And, you know, people are already destitute here. They can't afford food and basic necessities and medicine it's just imagine in a few years or next year or whatever it takes when the you know real powder keg goes off i just see everything leading towards uh, them implementing the global id because of the crisis that they created on the border thank you democrats Thank you, uh, Republicans, too, neocons that are, that are pushing it as well. Um, 
And we're going to see CBDC because the UBI is in, it's going to be directly connected to that too. Um, because they're going to get, you know, they're already giving them basically UBI, uh, which is, you know, it's a massive strain, um, on our system as it is. And then you add the violence that's going to come from that because people can't, you know, get food from the store. Maybe they can't get food stamps because of, uh, the crisis. We're going to then see martial law. So UBI... Uh, digital ID, CBDC, digital dollar, digital commie dollar. So all these different things are going to be rolled out, I think, um, thanks to their plans with the border, with what they're trying to do, you know, displace the white terrorist Americans that, you know, or anybody that happens to be, you know, have, have a backbone and uh, believe in actual American values and, you know, actual you know, liberty and freedom and prosperity for everybody. Oh, you're a terrorist, you know. We need to do away with you people. Replace you with people that are used to socialism, which I think that's going to be very 50-50. You know, you're going to have people that obey the government, which is what they want, but they're going to get people, Latin Americans and people from Cuba that are very anti-socialist and very, you know, conservative they're going to vote, you know, uh, more conservative Republican, you know, they're very family oriented. So that kind of mentality, you know, that's going to backfire on them for, for allowing that many people across the board. So I don't know, um, politically how well this is going to work for them. It's already backfiring. A lot of people are pushing back on both sides on this border issue. Cause you see, it's a scam. <laughs> Um, same with the climate change scam that they keep pushing so they can, you know, tax you more and control your ability to move, your freedom to have a vehicle. <laughs> they can make it more expensive for you to uh, drive, you know, from A to B, you know. It's all, you know, it's all a racket. Everything is with government. Uh, it's beyond tyrannical. It's a very evil plan to just allow anybody to come across the border, allow sex trafficking to happen, allow all this immorality to happen. Uh, you know, somebody needs to put a stop to it. We need actual border personnel. I'm not talking about internment camps, you know, that things that Trumps have, have mentioned that I do not agree with. We need physical personnel patrolling the border, giving them good weapons, armaments, you know, good body armor. We need a lot more, you know, come back to what it was like, you know, several decades ago with the border and, and actually support those people. Or the states need to, you know, really step it up and, and create a much stronger border force and leave the feds to do whatever the hell they want to do, stick their thumbs up their butts, you know. And, you know, Texas can secede from the union. That's one, you know, Arizona, Arizona, they can all follow suit and secede from the United States and become their own states, maybe merge together. You know, people that live on the border, the you you know, see this crisis, you need to handle it somehow. So, I don't know. It's just my rant, my thoughts on the border. I think it's one of the bigger issues that we're facing. Um, we definitely need border security or we don't have a country. We don't have a sovereign country or a nation if we don't have a secure border. Bottom line, we have a banana republic. And uh, that's what the Marxist... Uh, communist, Leninist uh, politicians that we have now, Biden, uh, Obama, all these turds uh, are pushing for complete, uh, you know, revision of the Constitution, you know, burn it away, bring in, you know, a new utopia, you know, based on the Chinese model of, you know, Mass censorship, mass surveillance, social credit, CBDC, 
global ID, cameras that track you everywhere you go, know everything you do, everything you say, and it will be used against you, you know, complete a dystopian, sh you know, crap hole. So that's what they're creating in America. We don't have, we have a banana communist republic, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, that's going to be implemented and surged with, you know, the technocratic controls of, uh, again, the CBDC, the, the UBI crap they're going to roll out to make you more dependent, and the digital universal global ID and all the crap that comes with that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my conclusion. You know, the border, it's a farce, and it's 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 an engineered demolition of uh, you know our country's values and and demolition of our country itself and its sovereignty um because it's worth repeating we don't have a country if we don't have a border we don't have sovereignty uh if we don't secure you know our borders it's just a banana republic and that's what it is so if you differ in your views about the border, or you think I'm a racist or whatever, let me know in the comments section below. Um, be interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I think I've ranted long enough. I appreciate you <laughs> for listening to my rants. Um, yeah, that's it.